Hello, I'm Mark Matusik, and I'd like to invite you to my upcoming four-week class for a contemplative journal, Writing to Awaken. For the past 30 years, as a memoirist, as a seeker, and as a teacher, I have learned that when you tell the truth in your life, which is a rare thing to do, your story changes. And when your story changes, your life is transformed. During this course, we're going to be learning how to tell the authentic core truth uh, about what we care about most, who we truly are, what our faith lives are, and how we want to grow and expand beyond whatever current limitations might be holding us back uh, in our lives or in areas where we need healing. So writing to awaken is an opportunity for us to use expressive writing, which is very, very powerful medicine, uh, to wake up from the dream of our lives, uh, witness what is actually true for us, uh, and realize how permeable and malleable our stories actually are, that we can change our lives when we reconceive them uh, by understanding that we are not the narrative. So it's going to be a great course. I'm really looking forward to teaching it. The first week, we're going to be looking at the question of who am I? Investigating uh, identity, physical, uh, emotional, and spiritual. The second week, we're going to be looking at the landscape of desire, because desire is the lifeblood uh, that drives us, animates the spiritual life, as well as everything that we do in the world. Week three, we're going to be talking about awakening genius. Each of us is born with a particular gift, a genius, as it was called by the Romans, uh, which is a spirit that comes in with us, whose purpose is to guide us toward the core of our authentic lives, a tutelary deity uh, that comes in just for us, uh, that is our genius, that takes us into our own fruition and connects us in the most magnificent way uh, with the world at large. And finally, in week four, we're going to be talking about the fear of freedom, which is very key on the seeker's path, as well as on any creative path. How much do we actually want liberation? How do we feel about the freedoms in our uh, worldly life? Where do we feel limited? Where would we like to grow? And where do we hold ourselves back? Because, of course, fear and desire are very often two ends of the same spectrum. So this is going to be a great course, uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you'll be able to join me. Thanks so much. Bye.